Proud of the guys, bounce back. Parker wasn't his normal self. Didn't have great command in game one. Um, was the number on us. We had some uh, two strike hits, some two out hits. Whipped us in game one. Really impressed with our guys. Bounce back, and enthusiasm, and uh, focus. And got it done in game two. Just what can you say about Wyatt, uh, not just tonight, but everything he's done for you guys out of the pen in the last month or so? Yeah, that's, some, that's some real stuff right there. You know, when you think about the breaking ball, it's got the depth that his does. 88 miles an hour, and a 90, you know, mid-90s fastball. Um, you know, he just, he's, there's a, quite a few of them. You know, we, there's too, sometimes they throw too many balls and, and pitch behind and gets good clubs, which that's all we really play is, you know, that's not ever going to work, but he's on like he was, and I don't even know how many bunch, but seven and four innings. So, Hub had ten and five innings, so that's, uh, Hub was, Hub was real good. He got a little sped up there. In that one inning, we gave up some runs, but um, got to clear those negative thoughts and go to positive. Why well, in a situation where it got a little bit of trouble and then gets two punch outs, and gets out of it, it was just his composure, you know, that's just how he is. Yeah, he's, um, you know, he's one of those multi-sport guys that we love. They, they've been in the arena more times than just strictly baseball players and the stuff that other sports teaches you but, and helps you in baseball, but you don't get it from baseball. Um, you know, it's, it's encouraging to see. You know, and again, he's going to be one of those guys in these types of big games and close games, he's going to be thrown in there. How proud of you were Alex? How proud of you were Alex tonight? Um, you know, he had a rough game one, but he came through tonight. Good single and then a sack fly. Um, I know you talked to him earlier this week about what facing Miami would be like for him. Just how proud of you? Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm glad he was the same guy. You know, a lot of times you see some old friends and teammates and coaches, and you know, you just kind of, you know, either get too amped up or go into a shell. First time competing against him, I thought he was outstanding. He can kill, still was the same guy, very talkative, looking for any edge, and uh, it's good to see. Getting Bryce back into that second spot, I mean, Parker wasn't obviously, it wasn't his best outing today, but it seems like every week at least one of those guys is just on and has that kind of outing. How valuable is it having that? It's just, it, it is, because it doesn't kill your bullpen, you know, and I don't know if they've ever, uh, I don't think they've ever struggled back to back. You know, all the years they've been one too. You know, we've always trusted them. And they feed off each other, and it's almost like, okay, well, you know, he didn't have his best. I'm gonna bring my A game. Say win games. You in the preseason, you guys built up a ton of guys for that. You know, in that competition, that Sunday spot, and, and why it was one of those guys. Just how valuable is that now, when so many guys can kind of fill different roles for you and, and be, have extended work? Yeah, it's. It's something that we're, we used to do, you know, we didn't have as many. You know, COVID gives you so many more that you have to do it, you know, to make sense to, so that you can do it. We just did it, leaving out there. And go 70, 61, you know, because he's, he's fine with that. And you know, he'll take tomorrow and Monday off, and we'll see how he feels Tuesday. But we had, I think it was nine guys at one time we were building up. Somebody had nicked up or whatever. We can extend a lot of guys. What can you say about Tyler? I know he's not, he's kind of playing through stuff that has just been lingering for him, but I mean, I think he reached base all six times we've played tonight. Yeah, he's, you know, again, I've said it a lot. He's a good player. You know, I've caught a lot of crap, you know, and you think I'm going to take my kid and put him in there if he can't do it. You know, I'm not going to do that. This place is special. And, you know, again, he's a, he's a tough out, he knows the strike zone, and does heads up things, and, you know, we just gotta you know, keep that, that group out there, keep getting better, and these, these games are helping. When he took that base, did you realize that they hadn't called time, or was that all him? He looked at me, and I did like that, like, no, they didn't call time. And he kind of looked at me again, and I'm like, yeah, he, you know, he's always looking to do that. Um, and he's been that way since he was, really young. Don't forget who his guy was. That was Tyler Holt. You know, that's always, you know, been his guy. He does a lot of the same things that T. Holt did. Do you feel a little fortunate getting to win as many guys as you've ever 
yeah, you know, you got to in order to get them in, you got to get them on. And so, yeah, we're going to continue to, you know, generally people go to more breaking stuff, off-speed stuff, runners in scoring position. Um, there were some, you know, pitches that we took we should have hit and, you know, gone after and something we should have laid off. Take your chances, but you know, again, those guys are really good. I mean, this is a, it's like I told you, like, there's so many teams we played that are College World Series caliber teams. Miami's one of them. It's uh, it, it's been a while since I've hosted Miami here. I guess how how fun was that crowd tonight? How excited are you for tomorrow? The the stakes, the all of that, and the rubber match, the rivalry. Love it. Brent, brought back the old days, you know, the, the good times. It makes you feel really good. You see mom go out there and getting the crowd going, and you know, I got bombarded. With Ticket requests and um, you know we got good weather. It was just everything felt right. That, that was really that's the rock and house, and, it, and it's um, it's effective. Brent, Brent and Jordan seem to kind of feed off each other, and they both had multiple hits in both games today. Just how good has it been to see those two guys kind of come into their own recently? Yeah, it, it's really good because they've had some ups and downs, you know. And when you've had those downs and you pull out of it, it's a lot you know easier, better for you in your career and everything that you can. You know, I tell them all the time, you can. We can, we will, and they're starting to you know, gain that confidence. That, that big games, tough situations, you know, pressure situations, and going against big time arms. We said Monday night tonight that the play in the center was pretty big time. Big time play. That's one that you know you, you know you're going to run into that thing, and, and if it's a chain link behind the pads, you know, no big deal. You're not going to get hurt. But that's straight old school center block. You know, it's hard. So for him to go and do that, just saying, you know, I'm, I'm catching this ball. It was, uh, he went a long way to get that thing. It's a huge play. Logan's been struggling for you guys at the plate, and he doesn't start that second game. But then he comes in and puts down the sack bunt and then makes the diving play to end the game. Just, just what does that say about him? He's a winner. You know, I got a bunch of them in there. That's why I'm, I'm very fortunate and blessed to coach this team. I got a bunch of winners. That, you know, Logan top step, constantly encouraging his teammates. Do anything that we ask him to do. Play second, play third, play in the outfield, hit in any spot in the order. We don't have ego guys. So I love this club. Awesome.